Hello again, DIY friends, and welcome back to another review video. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the two most popular portable washing machines so you can know which one is best for you. We have the standard twin tub and we have this new way of washing, which is a one tub that does the washing and also the spinning. I'm going to go over the features of both so that you can see the benefits of each to see which works best for you. And then I'll give you my opinion on which one that I like the best. So I'm really excited to go over the new type of portable washing machine first, which is from Comfy. Now, compared to what I have experienced with those twin tubs, this one is a huge upgrade, people. You have so many more features and programs you can do just very similar to a regular size washing machine, which is the appeal for this. So no longer do you have to worry about making small loads of laundry this tub is very very big i was able to put pillows from my couch in there i could put a full-size blanket in there you wouldn't be able to do a quilt depending upon the size you possibly can but you still want to make sure you have room and space inside just like a regular size washing machine, you have a stainless steel tub and you have that, that little lint trap on the side that you have in the other one as well for making sure you're getting everything out of it so you can maintain the life of the actual product. And again, when it comes to the control panel, this thing is awesome. It is all LED and it's push um, control. So I love the fact that now I can just do a heavy load, a light load, a delicate load. I can go right ahead and say, hey, I don't want you to start until an hour later. I have that feature now and extra rinses. It is so cool. Now draining the actual machine is very similar to the twin tub. You still have that typical cord um, that elongates into the actual sink to capture all of the water. I did um, attach this to my sink with ease. It did not fall off once the cycle started. It is very low in sound when it is operating, especially on the, on the spin cycle. Making sure that you have the actual legs adjusted properly is key to make sure everything is level while it is indeed working. This machine is awesome. As I mentioned, you can roll this. So it is a handle on this side and also on the other side to allow you to maneuver this around the home wherever you need it to go. And then when you're done, you just take it and put it away in a closet, against the wall, in a corner. I mean, you have so many options. Now the view from the back gives you the ports for the cold and hot water in case you have a um, a hookup inside of your place. They also provide you with quick connectors um, for using this with the cords to connect it for the hot and cold. And coming on down here further, you will see this section right here is a very important section to take out any extra lint that accumulates while washing your clothes. This machine is awesome and is great for people who are on the go and looking for something that's very similar to a standard washing machine. Now to the twin tub. This has been my lovely twin tub machine for over the past 10 over the past 10 years actually. And I can say this thing has really saved me so much money living in apartment complexes and rentals that did not have washing machines and I did not want to have to go to the laundromat. This is so user friendly and easy for people who doesn't care about all the big gadgets and gizmos. Very simple and easy. All you would do is just fill your clothes up inside of the wash section here. You also have that section to clean out all of the lint which it comes in here and then you would just pop it right back into place here and then you have this um this cord unlike the standalone one you have a hot and hot and cold water um holes this one you actually have to come on this side connected here to allow the water to get connected from your standard sink 
or whatever you are using to fill this up and it will come right in here fill it all up but you have to stop it from actually filling up with the other one it stops on its own just like a regular washing machine so you don't have to worry about overfilling the actual tub and then you will go right ahead and choose how long you want your cycle to go with washing you have to make sure it is on wash when you do actually start that process and then when you're done washing you have to switch it over to drain so that all the water can come out and again this is the hose that will do that and you can put this most people put it in their bathroom tubs um, or they put it on their countertops and just have this hanging over inside of the actual sink and then once you are done with your clothes you're not done working yet <laughs> you have to come on this side to the spin and this is where you would get this piece here I never know what this is called but you pretty much put this on top of your clothes so that none of your clothes pops out when it is indeed spinning and you can also work this while the lid is up so this is a safety hazard if you have children like to touch things and be all into everything it will still spin with this being up um some models nowadays have a a way that it turns off if it's actually lift up so if you do like this type of model look for that one that actually stops it from working if the lid is indeed lifted um, and also for the spin side you have your own little knob here which goes in minutes up until five I know some actually go a little bit longer but that typically does work now again I love this little machine it came in handy for me when I was washing me and my me and my child clothes I didn't want to go to the laundromat it is very very compact as you saw the difference in size between the standalone tub model and here is the cord in the back um, it is perfect to just go into a closet as well into the corner it does get your clothes washed but you have to do a little bit more work you have to be more attentive to this as it does not just stop automatically like the other one when it comes to filling up your clothes draining your clothes and actually getting the water out of them to prepare them to be hung up or thrown into a portable dryer so have you figured out which one I like the best yet Yes, they both do a phenomenal job, but I have to go with the comfy on this one. I do love you. You've worked perfect for me all these years, but this one just gives me the vibes of a regular washing machine, but a miniature version. It does all of the functions of a regular washing machine. It has the bigger tub. It has the LED um, panel with the different options, and I just really do love this one. The price points are a little bit different, but the conveniences that this one brings you will definitely make up for the price point. This is also good for individuals who don't care about all of the actual fanciness of it, but you do have to do a lot more work and be more attentive when you utilize this one versus going with the comfy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.